Hello Tarkov lovers, my name is Red7 and in this video we are going to review what happened in the Tarkov world in this last past week. We're going to start with an interesting image posted on the 4th of December on the forum and on social media. The black box, in this case the orange box of an aircraft, we don't know which one so far. This is part of the new quests which will be added in the near future, probably with the next update or with the coming of the open beta testing phase. So what secrets are hidden in this flight recorder, Blackbird asks. Well, I would say that in the round one in the middle, there is definitely some French cheese. It looks like that. The one in the left has some Russian vodka and God knows what's inside the square one. Maybe a box with Cuban cigars to celebrate the end of the raid with your mates. That's what I call a close encounter. Hmm, it would be cool to see an animation like this one at the end of each raid. Anyways, back to the news. Next we have a screenshot with the new dynamic storage cells allocation system. Weapons with different attachments will occupy more or less slots depending as I said on what attachments they have on them. This means a fully kitted M4 will not fit in the weapon case anymore, not horizontally, unless they change the capacity of the case. I'm curious if there's going to be an option to fold the bot stock to save some space in the inventory. You know, right click on the weapon and fold the bot stock in the stash. And if you wonder what happens with my weapons if this change suddenly goes live, well, there will be a wipe first, so don't worry. One day after that, the redesigned headwear slot style. There is not much to say here except great job devs. Now we can use that cool daisy style with beanie and face masks, for example. The Glock has also received some love from the devs who continue working on finishing it and bringing it to the game. Looks very cool, I cannot wait to hear how that pistol sounds in game. On that second screen, is that a new type of AR-15 platform? Now comes the most important news, the initial preparations for the open beta testing begins. For us, for the devs it's already in the final stage, according to Blackbird. I am going to take some time and explain what the devs mean for those of you with a little less time or for those of you who want the audio version. First of all, the open beta will start at the beginning of 2018. Nikita stated some time ago that open beta will probably start at the end of the year. Just listen for a moment. Is there any kind of timetable when we can expect this to get into the game? I think it will be ready maybe a little bit after open beta release. Okay. So when is, when is that going to be? Uh, we, plan <laughs> <laughs> we plan to release open beta at, uh, at the end of this year. I okay. think in December maybe we okay. will try and maybe after this we will add the hideout option. Or there is a possibility that the hideout will be in this update. Mm -hmm. Okay. But beginning of 2018 is also fine. It's a huge step forward and it requires more time, more preparations, things Nikita didn't have in mind at that moment, I guess. What is also important for them as a company is merchandising. They want to stimulate new players to buy the game and that also requires time. Most of the young players don't have the money for the game and with these discounts, these free to play weekends or weeks, they want to stimulate future operators to buy the game, they prepare new players with such announcements, events, etc. The guy behind all of this is a very intelligent and skilled person in my opinion. So again, what does this mean for you as a new player? First, you will have the chance to test the game for free during a week at the end of the year. Remember, not everyone will have access to the game for free, only a random number of players will be picked based on their registration date. So if you haven't done it yet, go on and create an account and wait for the mail. Second, a week after the free week of playing EFT, the game will be available with a 25% discount. The veterans also get some bonuses. Pre-alpha testers will get a promo code and two 7-day access keys. Pre-closed beta players will get the two 7-day keys. On top of that, and I quote, every user who has already purchased access to the game or bought the game during the 7 days of the event is guaranteed to receive additional game gear with the ability to restore it up to 6 months after each profile wipe including a manual one. Not sure what he means with every user who already purchased access to the game. That includes us? 
Okay, good so far. What about the next update? Well, it will be released before open beta, before the end of the year, according to Blackbird. It will include the full version of Shoreline, new weapons and attachments, new spawn and extraction system, the dynamic weapon size changes that we have seen before, the new headwear system, a redesigned weapon mastering system, dog tags and other stuff. He also presented us some of their future plans, advanced game mechanics, more work on improving network and servers, the new map called Interchange and more cool stuff. So far, no info related to the introduction of the hideout. Couldn't find a release date, couldn't find if it's going to be available in the next patch or when open beta starts. Will it come as a surprise with the next wipe, maybe? Last news for today from the EFD world is two more screens with some weapon attachments. This cool SKS body and a drum mag for the MP5 probably. Cannot wait to put a foregrip to the SKS and customize the shit out of it. I'm going to try to keep your attention with two more announcements. A Patreon page and a giveaway. Let's go with the Patreon first. Some of you requested a way to support me, my work and the channel. So I set up a Patreon page where you guys can join and be an active part of my Patreon special community. Had this idea a long time ago and I created the page, but I didn't publish it. I was looking for alternatives on how to make a full-time job out of creating cool YouTube content. So now it's there. I made some rewards, which I will have to modify or change accordingly, depending on how much people decides to support me and some goals. Made a basic goal which can be reached and it will give me the possibility to acquire new stuff for my studio and therefore add more quality to the videos. Also created a harder to reach goal and if it will be reached, it will mean dedicating my whole time to YouTube to you guys. This will mean daily videos with tutorials, guides, gameplay and more. Streaming on Twitch for example will also be possible and even vlogs. If we reach this goal, and I am a bit skeptical here I must say, then as I said I will professionally dedicate my time, my talents and my skills to creating and improving my content. It's a dream for now but who knows maybe there's a lot of you who like my content and decide to support me until I grow this channel enough to sustain myself or maybe there is this millionaire out there who likes my stuff and decides to invest some money in my work. So if you think you're able to do it the link is in the description or you can start the browser and just type patreon.com slash red7. Why Patreon? Why all this stuff? Because of time, I don't have time to create content because I have a full time job and I have to dedicate most of my time doing that job and this way I have almost no time for YouTube anymore. That's the reason behind all of this. What's important is that my videos will continue to be free on YouTube as long as YouTube stays free. And remember we talk about chasing girls not scavs? Well if you found that girl and you only have 5 bucks to invite her out for a burger or something like that, then don't pledge on my Patreon page. Go out and have fun, real life is more important. Anyways, appreciate all the support, we will see how this goes. The big guys also started with stuff like this. I'm going to try to do the same. Next, I have reached 4000 subs today and I am here because of you guys. Thank you for the awesome support so far. What I want to do is a special giveaway when I hit 5000 subs. At this rate we will hit that number pretty soon. So I will give away a copy of EFT, we will see which one, as soon as we reach that magic number. How we're going to do it? We will find the correct way, never did this before but there are tons of examples out there, I will find one. Sorry for keeping you this long here people, as always if you like the video please share it and like it or leave a comment below. Don't forget to spend some time with your families and with your friends, the game will be waiting for you when you come back. Red7 out, peace. So who wants to be my first Patreon supporter? Okay, now let's watch Independence Day one more time. 